What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about it. This is the truth behind the beef between Bobby Brown and Carl Anthony Payne the second. Now, Carl Anthony Payne was one of the people that grew up with Tupac. A lot of people didn't really know that. But when they all went to school together, everybody went to LaGuardia High School. Like Omar Epps, Tupac, Jada Pickett, Carl Payne, and a host of other actors. That performing arts school was, uh, you know, one of the best in the world. And Carl, that, you know, went to Howard, got a great education, you know, was raised with good family values. Then comes, you know, his break with the Cosby show as Cockroach. You know, Cockroach is a character they was going to have come in and out of the show for a while and... You know, first they wanted him, then he was gone for a while, then he brought him back. So he was just a character that wasn't on there a lot, but a lot of people liked the character Cockroach. And when the show like first started getting off the ground in his acting career, he was just basically a stage actor, but he knew all the producers and everybody else. He's from Harlem. So... Bobby Brown was splitting from New Edition at this time, going solo. And you've seen him in the Houdini video that was all just a part of growing up. And as a kid, we like, look, that's Cockroach. Because the Cosby Show just came out. And when you saw him in these videos, you're like, I, you can identify him now. You're like, oh, that's Cockroach. Cockroach in the video growing up. So, Bobby Brown put him in the video, The Girl Next Door. He had got cast, and him and Bobby Brown was hanging out with Ralph Tresvant. You know, it was Bobby, Ralph, and uh, Carl Payne. So, they, they hanging out, you know, everybody, like, Kicking it cool. Then, uh, you know, Bobby became bigger than life after this album. Like they used to roll around. You know, there's women galore. And for the young, for for the younger kids who don't understand, Bobby Brown is the first R and B artist. Okay, <laughs> like there's not been a. a he redefined what R&B was. R&B artists didn't do what Bobby Brown did. R. Kelly, all them, that they all pinned themselves after Bobby Brown. Trust me. You know, he was flat top Bobby. Then he went to the Gumby look. He had the three parts in the hair, Bobby. Bobby Brown was essentially the freakiest man on stage. <laughs> he was arrested for being freaky on stage. Imagine that. that. That don't even exist no more now. But he was arrested for it. So, Bobby Brown, who was arrested for being too freaky on stage. Because he had a bed on the stage and all this stuff. So, anyway, Bobby Brown was the greatest performer that there was at that time, but he lived it up. Women were crazy for Bobby Brown. Every town, every city, it was phenomena. The Don't Be Crew album brought all these new women around. So, Bobby sees this beautiful girl named Malika. And they started, like, dating as Bobby would do in that time. You know, and Carl Payne is his running buddy, you know. And he, um, like, oh, yeah, that's my girl, you know, Malika. And, you know, she had met Carl. They went and hung out, 
he be called, look, can you take her home for me? You know, I'm busy. Carl do this. So while she was pregnant and Bobby out doing shows and partying, and meanwhile, he's doing like the Cosby show and he's kind of in the, you know, in the mix of doing some plays, trying to direct some music videos. Carl Payne is the one that's paying attention to her, talking to her on the phone because she's crying. Bobby ain't answering the calls. And all this stuff, and you know, he's he's there for her while she was pregnant, and helping her out, and you know, Bobby was like, "Look, I'm on show her, tour doing this." He popping in and see her a little bit, and next thing you know, Carl Payne is talking bad about Bobby to her. Like, I don't know why he treats you like this and blah, blah, blah. So Bobby's like, dude, like, man, like, she called me like, how she even know I told you I was in Jersey? I didn't tell you to tell her. Because Bobby didn't have time. Because Bobby's like, look, I ain't got time to stop by and see you and the kid. I got to go. You know, like, but Bobby was in town. <laughs> but Bobby told him, like, look, I'm in town. I'm meant to be at the hotel. You know, we got some women here. Nah, man, I don't think I could go. And he was, oh, all right. You know, Bobby, like, all right, cool, then. I was just letting you know, man. I'm finna hit Ralph for me and Rizzo finna be here. Because that's what he called him, Rizzo. He, yo, Rizzo. Yeah, we over here at such and such place. Next thing you know. Things start to change between Bobby Brown and Carl Payne. They had a phone conversation. And that's when things, you know, he was like, man, you know what? I, you know, being real short with Bobby. So Bobby's like, man, what's going on with you and uh, Malika? Because now she ain't talking, you ain't talking. And he was like, man, I don't like the way you be dogging her, man. You know, she's a good woman and this and that. And Bobby like, man, look, I ain't got time for it. <laughs> man, if you want her, you got her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got time for it. So that was basically the gist of it. But Bobby had other problems. Bobby had slept with a guy's wife. This guy was stalking Bobby Brown, talking about he finna kill him. Nobody really remembers this. It's hard to find. But because we're younger and we, you know, we we remember everything. Bobby had a situation. And one of his uncles allegedly hurt this man. This man was coming to hurt Bobby Brown. Saying Bobby slept with his wife. Bobby's like, I don't know this man. I don't know his wife. He's just a crazy person. Next thing you know... This guy got hurt by one of Bobby's family members. See, the thing is, a lot of people want to hurt Bobby Brown. Bobby's not a fighter. Okay? That's not what he does. He was the lover, not the fighter type. But his uncles <laughs> and his family, the Browns? Oh, no, no. They gonna get down. <laughs> oh, they all about the nonsense. So... Allegedly, this man was hurt very, very badly by someone in the Brown family. Allegedly. So, Bobby, to avoid this thing, his lawyers had him skip town. So, he couldn't really come back in town because he didn't want to go to court. He had to be like, look, I'm on the tour. I'm doing this. I have no time to come back to court. Keep getting continuance. Continue, continue. So Bobby was avoiding this thing. Who knows how that ended? But Carl Payne eventually married Malika, Bobby Brown's baby mom. Him and Bobby ain't cool no more. They don't even talk. He's helping raise Bobby Brown's son. Bobby has all rights to visit his son. He was paying child support when he could. Bobby had so many other kids popping up. And 
Landon was supposed to be the first. All of a sudden, when this all breaks out, Bobby Brown has um, uh, he comes back around, and as Landon's getting older, Carl did a great job, you know, teaching him values, how to be a young man, how to be respectful. You know, these are the things, you know, to do. And it's it's a mess because as he got older, he started seeing his father in, in the light. He started seeing my father was the king of stage and performing, and he wants to be like Bobby Brown. He wants to be in that spotlight like his dad, you know, and he was like, see, I tried to teach this kid all the values I taught him. He's just going to throw them all away on how to be a good man and what a good man is supposed to do. And he's going to ruin it. So. I mean. It's a. It's a probably a known story by now because Landon's older and a lot of people finding out about it. But basically that was it. Those two didn't never speak again. Uh it was always Bobby and uh Ralph after that. But they weren't like we're lifetime buddies and we're lifetime partners and friends for the rest of our lives. They weren't like that. But there was a respect level they used to ride around. And his first album, King of Stage, in, in 86. That was it. And the King of Stage album is, ended up becoming his title. He was the King of Stage. When Bobby Brown performed, that's exactly what he was. Now, as Carl Payne went on, him and Landon's relationship kind of went left and right. And the Martin show happened. That's when they got married, you know, when he was at the peak, basically, of what he was doing. He went from cockroach to coal. And then as, you know, he was coal, he was, people, people don't know, Carl Payne, He's funny and all that, but he could be an a hole too. Now he, he, y'all don't understand. He had that personality. He's not all nice when things. And he's having a bad day. Everybody's gonna know about it. He's not one of those types that oh he's having a bad day. He keep it to himself. No, he takes it out on everybody around him, and make everybody else just as miserable as him. And when it led to him. Getting divorced after all these years, I think everybody just reached the tipping point of where they just couldn't deal with it anymore. And for Carl Payne, he's back on plays, back producing, doing what he does. And that's just it. Bobby now is, we all know what's going on with Bobby. So, <laughs> you know, that's that's just the gist of it. But he did feel betrayed by call Anthony Payne so but hey he was Bobby man at that time his life was going 100 miles an hour he did a better job raising Landon than Bobby ever could have did because Bobby wasn't going to be around so that's how everything started and ended at that time but Bobby had legal reasons why he couldn't be around <laughs> at that time because some idiot got himself put into a, almost a coma by uh, allegedly somebody related to Bobby Brown over somebody's wife. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm out. It's your boy Carcino. Don't forget, click one of these videos that's flashing right now. And uh, join the playlist and all those good things. I'm out.